Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we're continuing our Orktober celebrations by looking at the classic Ork Boys kit. Now this Ork Boys kit has been around for, it's got to be about 10 years, give or take. Um, and I can't recall because I've got a load of Gork and Orker Orks and I've mixed them in with my normal Orks. But I'm pretty sure the kits were very, very similar, a couple of different bodies and things like that. Um... But I, mean, I would have to double check. As I said, mine are all mixed and matched now um, to add variety because I've got so many Orc boys. But this is the kit. First thing we can do is look at the box. It's got the very cool sort of art style similar to the Grot one um, where you have the kind of dusky background, the deserty base, and then the Orcs themselves. And I think you get, I believe it's 10 boys and a knob, as I as I recall. We'll have a look when we open the sprues. Or if we read on the back there where it says 11 models. So it shows you each of the models. And they can all be armed with either slugger and chopper um, or a shooter. And it varies on what you, you want your unit for. And then you get an orc knob and he has the ability to give him some extra weapons, including a power claw. Now you will notice it does show you down the side here. Um, the paints that you need. So this is a repurposed, repackaged box. Because um, obviously when this box first came out, a lot of these colours didn't exist. But anyway, let's just dive straight into it. As always, we're not taking any shrink wrap off with a knife or anything sensible like that. We're going to rip it with our fingers. It's the orky way. Just destroy it. Destroy them umis. If you are a umi watching, I do apologise. Uh, but a great wire is going to be upon you. So let's get straight into these guys. So and that's the box. Get that to one side. As always. Oh! Orc transfer sheets. <clears throat> now I do use transfer sheets with other armies, but I tend not to use them for the orcs. Or if I do, I put them on and then I paint over the top of them. The reason being is I don't want it with it being orcs to look too neat. Like, these are really, really cool to use. What I do is I'll stick it on and then I'll paint over the top of it so it looks a bit messy and a bit more orky. Um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. So, once again, shows you how to build an orc boy, how to build the orc knob. Um, for some reason it has the looter and burner stuff in here, so I'm guessing... Oh! Yeah, it's just the same set for both. Ah, nice. And once again, it doesn't give you a data sheet in there. So if you wanted those, you would have to get that from your index, which is Xenos 2, I believe, off the top of my head. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know in the comments and I'll say, oh, yeah. But, so you get your bases as always. And let's look at the sprue. Now, this comes across on three sprues, um, of which two of them are the same, I believe. Um, and then one is the command sprue. So we'll look at the normal other ones first. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you get, if we put it this way, five bodies, five bodies, five sets of legs, five sets of legs, and then the arms and things. So we can effectively throw this one up to one side. So <clears throat> you get five different body types. Um, and then you get the five legs you get one two three four four shooters on there you get one two three four five sluggers um there's an extra shooter there thus proving that the orcs are more diverse than the space marines because look left-handed and then you get your choppers um and of course with an orca chopper can pretty much be anything that'll cleave another human being basically a lump of metal if it's sharpened so much the better um, you get these cool little heads. Of course, you get five heads there and five heads on the other spruce. So you're going to have duplicates of heads. Luckily, all the orc kits are interchangeable. Um, obviously, the heads and arms and stuff are slightly bigger on a knob. But any of the orc kits or any of this stuff will go on your burners, your looters, uh, your stone boys. Um, obviously, with these bodies, the stone boys come separately. They, as you saw in the previous video, their legs... And the back half of the body is separate to the front torso. So these bits don't apply. But these um, choppers and sluggers do. Um, and then of course you get things like this. So you get these little orc gubbins. So you can make hard boys. Um, and little extras and things like that. Just to spruce up. And These came out at a really good time. Where Games Workshop weren't overfilling a sprue with useless, useless bits. But they gave you some extras so that you could have some customization. 
Right, now let's look at this command sprue straight away. So, first thing you'll notice is you get a pair of legs, obviously. And then you get a normal body and an orc knob body. Now, an, oh, in fact, two normal bodies and an orc knob body. Now, I will just stress that an orc knob means an orc noble. It's basically the higher class. Um, they're usually bigger and meaner. Um, so, it's not a genital reference. So... <laughs> If your children do mention the word orc knob, that's what they're t referring to. And these two bodies, these are so you can make up either rug launcher or big shooter to add to your boys. And that would just replace the weapons of one of the others. So you get a number of different heads. Um, and again, I really love all these proper shooty heads. I tend to give these ones to my... Uh, if I've got guys with shooters instead of sluggers. You get a couple more little bits there. Now that's a Speed Freaks one. I believe that's a Blood Axes one. Is that right? It could be Blood Axes or Death Skull. I always get those two confused. Um, and you get, as I said, extra weapons. This big axe arm. Um, more stick bomb throw-ins. You get the Power Claw couple of banner pulls um and i'm interested to see how banner pulls and stuff will work in the new edition you get these cool little spikes um and obviously the metal jaw now what you can do with a metal jaw obviously you can put it on a model it looks really cool but what you can also do is you can put it on a shoulder piece and um, they fit very very nicely on the orc boys shoulders so it adds so it's like an extra thing if you want to spruce up your odd boys and then you get all these little extras that you can put on them um pouches um, a targeter, which I think looks really, really nice on your shooter. Um, a scope, because the orcs are going to use that, of course. Um, more stick bombs, more stabby knives, little pouches and things like that. So it's a really, really nice kit, um, considering its age especially. Now, the one problem that you get with these orc kits compared to the newer ones is the way the body goes in. I'll show you on here. So that's got like a little dip, and then this part of the body sits in it. So it kind of gives them this slightly gorilla-like stance where they've got this sort of big booty going on. Um, I mean, some of you like it, some of you like it. But yeah, I do believe that when we get new plastic orc boys um, that are probably going to be a bit bigger, to be honest, um, now that Space Marines have chumped up and things like that, and the Storm Boys do look a bit bigger than these, um, when we get orc boys, I think we're, they're probably going to be stood more upright and they're going to have less of the shelf booty. Um, but I could be wrong. So, that's these guys. We've got plenty more October um, fun coming. If this is your first time ever watching us, please feel free to check out some of our other videos. Obviously, we've got a special playlist just for October stuff. But within that, you'll also see that we do a load of other content for a load of different games, including Kill Team, Shade Spire, or Underworlds, I guess it's called, and many, many other gaming companies. So, please feel free to check out. Definitely, if you like our content, give us a subscribe. Um, obviously, every subscription helps. Um, it pushes us forward. Give us a like because it helps the algorithm. It also feeds Alan's ego, which is the main reason that you guys want to do it. And leave me a comment down below. Just let me know if you've ever built this kit. Um, I'm kind of wanting numbers. Let me know, you Orc players, how many Orc boys you currently have. Um, and then, obviously, whether they're a mix whether you've got ones from this kit, whether you've mixed Stoneboy arms in, whether you're using old metal, whether you're using second edition plastics. You know, let me know. If you've got any third-party heads that are really good for Orcs, because I know there's some really good third-party heads out there, drop me a link in the description below. Um, and we'll spread the word. We'll spread the wire, if you will. But no, guys, thank you very, very much for watching, as always. It's been a pleasure to show you one of the oldest, but one of my you know, all-time favourite kits. I know I say that with every Orc kit, but it genuinely does go Stone Boys, Grots, and then that Orc Boys kit. I think it's a beautiful kit for its time. Um, and I want to make sure I get a few more before any new Orc boxes come out, because it will be a shame to see those disappear into the annals of time. But thank you very much for your time today, guys. Pray the Dice Gods hope they smile upon you, and have a good wah!